Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I am really enjoying BookTube at the minute, like just really loving making videos, watching videos, all of it. And I literally have three weeks to go until my exam is finished and I am free and yeah, I can't believe it's so soon really. I mean the exam's like in the third week, so it's like two more weeks of work, then it's exam week. Um, and I'm really excited just to start filming and doing stuff again. Um, one of the people I've been really loving watching is GK Reads, Grace. Uh, she has like, she's fairly new, I think she's like a year and a bit in um, and her videos are just brilliant. She has so many good like challenges and reading vlogs and just yeah I really like her taste. If you haven't checked her out um, please do, she's brilliant. Um, but one of the videos she made I was like I want to have a go at that um, and she did a video where she read like her star sign for a week um, and I just thought that sounded like fun. Um, I'm not like that into star signs but I quite like playing with them, I think they're a bit like personality types um, in that like they're a bit broad to be too meaningful um, but they're still quite fun. Um, so I'm a Pisces and I haven't looked up any of the books yet so what I was going to do is have a look on my computer, do a bit of a screen record and buy the books um, and then I will vlog the process of me reading them. I'm thinking about doing it probably for a week so I think I'll buy five books to read in that time. I now have some books on my Goodreads, so I'm going to read through the ones that we put on there. Um, there was one more that I added, um, which was Practical Magic um, by Alice Hoffman, which I've also never heard of, um, but it was recommended on like three sites, so it's going on the list. Okay, so the first one we had was The Scapegoat. So it says... The scapegoat is a propulsive and destabilising literary mystery that follows a man in a university in the San Francisco Bay Area as he investigates his father's death. I like a lot about that. You guys know I like mysteries, like um, academic settings. So that one's going to stay in. We're going for five, remember. I'm trying to see how many have I actually got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I nearly got to ten, um, given that I've read a few of them. Wild Swims. Obviously if I like more of them I can keep them on my list. Um, Okay, so The Wild Swims is um, a short story collection. It says, in this dazzling new collection, the acclaimed Danish writer Durette Norse creates a series of intimate, psychologically acute portraits of individuals in states of emotional crises. A woman's attempt to cope with a recent breakup led her to commit a deeply immoral act. A professor's relationship with a much older woman takes a sinister turn. A man who has grown resentful of his partner takes drastic action and a young woman's nostalgic memories of wild swimming draw her back into the water. It's very short, it's only 96 pages, um, but I'm like, that's on my maybe list, just because I haven't liked the only other book of hers I've read. The next is Craft in the Real World, Rethinking Fiction Writing and Workshopping. And this is a manifesto like about writing, um, but it says, um, the traditional writing workshop was established with white male writers in mind, and what we call craft is informed by their cultural values. So, that's interesting. It like looks at the like sexism and racism like inherent within creative. I don't, that's staying on the list. Um, seven samurai swept away in a river. That's like feels like a tongue twister almost. Um, okay, I'm probably less interested in this one because I think the first one feels like it might hit some of those um, academic vibes more. This is a um, literary meandering into the mythology of a place and what a novel can be, inspired by the author's time spent in an artist resident in small town Texas. Um, so that one, I'm going to take that one off, um, I don't think that appeals as much as some of the others. Um, so let's remove that one. So we've got two so far. Oak Flat, I've definitely heard of Oak Flat, so just give me a second to remind myself. Okay, it's visual non-fiction about three generations of an Apache family struggling to protect sacred land from a multinational mining corporation. That one's staying, that one that one is definitely up my street. Um, then we have What Happens at Night by Peter Cameron um, and this says an atmospheric suspenseful, suspenseful story of a couple struggle to adopt a baby while staying in a fading grand European hotel. I think that's probably a maybe. It doesn't immediately jump out, but it also doesn't immediately repel. Um, okay, so I Hold a Wolf by the Ears, which is such a good title. Um, it's a short story collection. Um, ghost stories, misogyny, violence. Um, 
Yeah, okay. Okay. I think... I think that one probably appeals more than Wild Swims. That's another short story collection. Then Parakeet is a novel uh, about a young woman whose dead grandmother in the form of a parakeet warns her not to marry and sends her out to find an extra extra uh, estranged loved one. Hmm. Not sure about that one. I'm going to have a quick look at the reviews. Um, yeah, Roxanne Gay is like middling on it, so that's that's all right. No spoilers, going blind. Maybe. And then Practical Magic. Let's have a look at Practical Magic. I think this is like fantasy. It is fantasy, it's like witchy fantasy. Oh, people that, I, that I'm friends with on Goodreads, the first three are under three stars, so that one's gonna have to go, I trust you guys too much. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I hold a wolf by the ears, oak flat, craft in the real world, and the scapegoat. And then I need to find one more. I'm not like a hundred percent sold on wild swims, um, so give me a few more minutes, and I'm gonna look through a few more on the Lit Hub one and see if there's any that appeal a bit more. Okay, I found another two. Um, one is braised pork, who I know I've heard someone talking about fairly recently. Um, I remember this when it came out. I can't remember when it came out. Was it last year? Um, so there is a woman who walks into an apartment, finds her husband dead, and there's a piece of paper which has a secret on it. That, that sounds up my street. It's also fairly short. And the other one that kind of piqued my interest, but I'm like, hmm, is one called Indelicacy. Um, and it's like a weird retold, like, ghost story, but it's written now. And the reviews are like, yeah, just like it's very an interesting way that it's written. So that that appeals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and buy some of these books. I might not buy them all in one go, but I'm going to make sure I do a vlog of reading them all in a week. So I have a proper week of reading like Pisces. Or if I don't read, you know what I'm like, if I spread them out and I read other stuff, I'll make sure I film each book that I'm reading so that you get that whole experience of what my reading was like with those books and whether or not they have me down as a Pisces. Hello. It's like 10 o'clock and we're in bed, but I really wanted to start Oak Flat. Sorry, I blocked Tom, but I really just wanted to start Oak Flat. You can't get in, there's no room. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is on my Pisces reading thing, my Pisces reading week. It's really pretty. It's like, I would say it's like half graphic novel-y. Um, we are both off tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow, but we're both have the day off. And I'm going to go try my wedding dress on. Tom is going to kind of wander around Bath with me, but I wanted to get started on this one. I've got a fairly relaxed weekend. We're both going to be together. So, yeah, it <laughs> was. Um, so it should be nice. And yeah, I think it's going to be quite a quick read. Just wanted to check in. I'll let you know how I go. Okay, it's been a minute or two since I've spoken to you last. Um, there's a lot going on tonight, so apologies. Um, so it's been a couple of days since I finished Oak Flat, and I adored this. Um, the pictures in it are just gorgeous. Like, there is a lot of like text in there too, but parts of it are just stunning. Like the art style and how it tells the story. This book was 100% a five out of five for me. Um, so we're doing well um, so far. I wanted to chat to you guys today because I'm gonna start Braised Pork. Um, I have read another book in the middle, what was very excitable, um, but I wanted to start on this one today. Um, but things are chaotic, this, like, this evening seems to just be chaos. So before I start on Braised Pork, I'm gonna explain the plan. So, a combination of factors has occurred. One is that Foster has weed on the sofa, which is the only place in my house other than the bed that I have to like sit. Um, and I went to clean it and I dropped the cleaning fluid. Like I, I opened the top to get more out and I dropped like half the bottle of the cleaning fluid into the sofa. So the sofa is soaked. Um, so I came upstairs to read in here, but I don't read in bed because if I read in bed I fall asleep. But I forgot that I'm bottom watering all of my plants. I'll, I'll show you around the chaos in a minute. So I can't sit on the windowsill, which is the other place that's quite nice to sit sometimes if it's not for too long. 
Um, so I'm a little bit stuck about what I'm going to do. So I thought I'll chat to you guys. And this braised pork is the only one from my Pisces reading challenge I have left to read. I only bought two. I, I could have sworn I bought more, but apparently I only bought two. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd buy a couple books and chat to you now and then just like show you what, what I'm doing with my bottom water with all my plants and show you some plant stuff quickly. Um, and then I'm going to try and clear the plant setups to somewhere more convenient and make my reading area the windows. Um, the other factor which has happened is normally I vlog on my phone but I've literally just got a new phone today. It has no case so it's at the very frightening stage of having a new phone. The case will be here in a couple of days. Um, and so I don't have a phone to film on because everything's transferred across to my new phone and my new phone is like now my real phone and I can't vlog on it because I need to let it run out of battery. So as I say, there's just a lot of chaos, fosters on heat. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use the remaining battery that I have um, to buy some books. This is Sophie from the future. Long story short, I filmed all bits. I'm editing and it's taking forever to explain. Um, I hold a wolf by the ears. I couldn't find anywhere apart from Amazon. I'm trying not to buy on Amazon. So I swapped it for Sorrowland, which was another one recommended through the Lit Hub Astrology Book Club. So I ordered three books. I ordered the two we'd already spoken about. One was Indelicacy, which was my second choice, but I ended up deciding to go with it. Craft in the Real World, and then I added Sorrowland. So those are the three that I've just ordered in this video. Okay, cool. So that is all the books bought for the rest of this challenge. I don't know how I really managed. That's the confirmation email. I don't know how I really managed not to buy them all. I think maybe I bought a couple when I was filming the video and thought I'd bought the others at another point and then lots of other books turned up and none of them were for this challenge. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you around and show you what I'm doing with my plants quickly and then we'll set up a little area so that I can do some reading. So people who are plant people might be able to tell me why Tom's plant looks like it has like mushroom fibres growing it, like something's going on. Um, but basically some of our plants got really unhappy with watering from the top and the guy at work was like, said that his plants had been doing the same thing and that they were much happier now that they were bottom watered. That water's gross. Um, so I've been going around the house fetching all of our varieties of plants to try and bottom water them. This is the second time. That's not focused. There you go. It's the second time that I've tried to do it this way around. Yeah, so it's literally just the bedroom plants. My poor little tiny monstera looks like he really needs water. Um, so I think I might have to put you guys down, but I think I'm going to go do it under the bookshelf. Um, and hopefully this is only like 20 minutes more. And then I'm going to polish down this bit and set up a little like nest here so that I can look out the window and read my books whilst the sofa's drying. Okay, so I've set up a little home for myself here. <laughs> It's a bit miserable when the cat wee's on the sofa, but I made it worse. Um, and I'm going to start on this one. Um, it feels pretty short and I finished... What did I finish last night? I finished the new Rachel Cusk last night, um, which I was really excited for. So it's really nice to like go into this one clean. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. So it's been a little while now. I've had my dinner. I have come back downstairs and I am... 78 pages in so nearly halfway through and I'm really enjoying this one so far like it's really really good I think the premise was what drew me in and I didn't really know much else but the premise is literally the very beginning of the book um so if I kind of maybe a little bit spoiler warning um but so a woman comes home to find her husband dead in the bath there's an odd drawing of a man who has a head of oh foz <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just the book. Um, who has the face of a man but the body of a fish. And she meets a man who is bartending in a local bar and starts to kind of form a relationship with him. And that's as far through as I am, really. Um, 78 page through. So I'm kind of surprised so far we haven't got more into, like, this mysterious death. Um and more into the fish man so I'm not sure whether there's like a twist coming or whether it's just an interesting beginning but it feels like a weird thing to like base the blurb of the book on if that's not what the book's about um but I am enjoying it so I just literally got back from a run I'm sweaty and out of breath um but that was really good fun um I'm brand brand new to running and 
my ankles are not my friends at the minute um but i just wanted to try something new and i've really enjoyed it so far i've only done two runs and i'm trying to space them out a lot and do lots of walking in between to be nice to my ankles which aren't coping particularly well um but yeah i have another night where tom's away so i'm gonna try and finish braised pork tonight that is my plan um i'm gonna get some water and have a shower first and I'll meet you on the sofa, um, I expect. Foster's. Foster, do you want to come down? Foster's like, where have you been? Because I left as soon as I finished work. Um, she is cute. Hi, Foz. Okay, I haven't even started reading yet. I had my shower, but I did some stretches first, which was really nice. I actually think I really needed them. Um, but I haven't started because it's 10 to 6, and I think I'm going to make some dinner first. Okay, I have decided I'm going to make a stir fry. I know I made a stir fry last time I vlogged, um, but I haven't actually had one in like three weeks. So I'm going to make another stir fry. It seems like YouTube is just me making stir Foster. Foster, this is not helping. You have to go down, darling. Um, it seems like YouTube like brings out the stir fries in me. How good does that look? I'm excited. So I just finished braised pork. I have very badly painted my nails, but they look absolutely terrible. Um, and I really enjoyed this one as well. I'm kind of sad I haven't got another Pisces book to read because so far they are absolutely banging them out. Um, I won't say much more than what I said when we got halfway through, which was that she had dated a guy, or not really dated, but like kind of dated a guy um in the city she lives in and the fish man had not yet reappeared um it's a little short book but i really enjoyed it um so i'm gonna have to leave you guys here and catch up when my books arrive because i want to read the next one but they aren't here yet because past sophie did not make good decisions <laughs> about which books to order first so i'm gonna need to read something else in the interim so it is saturday evening and <laughs> Sorrowland has arrived. I've literally just finished reading Blue Ticket um, and I don't think I'm going to start this one yet. Um, I might do. We'll see how I go. Um, but it's fairly late at night so I think I might take a bit of a reading break because I kind of read um, Blue Ticket in one go and I feel like these ones are really good picks for me at the minute and I might read this one really fast but I might do some knitting tonight, I think, and then I lost it. You're not being very helpful. And then I'll I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I start it. Hiya, so it's the next day. Um, I've done my exam question for the day. Um, it's half 11 and I just popped out to run a quick errand. Um, I just need to drop an envelope off in town. Um, and I'm going to see whether or not I can finish Sorrowland today. Um, so, if, it's, if we count it as half 11, it's just gone, but half 11 now, make that 12, a good bit of 10. I've got like 11, 10 and a half hours, something like that, maybe 11 hours tops to try and finish this one. Um, it's fairly chunky though. I don't know whether I'm being overly ambitious, but I kind of just feel like running into a book. It's 350 pages. Um, I've also brought down the latest issue of Women's Health, um, which I've been reading for probably like eight or nine months now. Um, and I really like reading magazines in between stuff. I think I've still got an O magazine left to read. Um, so if I finish Women's Health in between, I'll go get O magazine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what this one is about. Um, it's described as a triumphant genre-bending novel following a young woman through a nightmarish yet recognisable landscape. She attempts to create a new life for herself and her children. So... Yeah, we'll see how I got on with this one. I got on with all of them really well so far and I will check in a little bit later and let you know how I get on. I've read 50 pages of this one so far, well 60 pages nearly, and I've just read a little bit of Woman's Health and it's starting to get like grey out outside and I want to go on a run today. That was the plan. I was supposed to do yoga yesterday but I was just really tired and I'm still quite tired <laughs> um, and just didn't feel like it. But... I'm feeling a little bit down today um, and I thought a run might really help so I'm torn between just going and getting it done before it starts tipping it down so that I can do it and reading another 50 pages. It's one of those like really annoying things where it's like I'm feeling quite like warm and cosy and don't really want to have a shower um because I seem to always film vlogs in the evenings like when I've worked or like after I've exercised 
and my hair's wet but maybe I should maybe I should do it and just commit to the fact I'll dry my hair afterwards so I don't always look like a little wet creature I'm back from my run I have got some tomato, it's not for you fuzz, I've got some tomato soup and some toast for lunch. It's a bit of a late lunch, it's already 2pm but I've successfully dried my hair and had my run and I do feel a little bit brighter. You really can't eat this, it's for me. No. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'll read the next 50 pages of Sorrowland. Tom will be home in about an hour so I reckon I'll probably push there. You can't eat it. I reckon I'll probably get to that page, I'm going to have to stop because she's going to go for my toast. Um, I probably will get to page 100 or so is my plan. So it's the next morning and I didn't read all of Sorrowland, not even nearly. Um, I ended up feeling a bit, still feeling sad after my run and then the next day I was still feeling quite like down um, and sometimes when I read I have quite a lot of time to think so we did a completely different day kind of day yesterday. I did lots of knitting, Tom played games and we listened to the missing crypto queen which is a podcast together um so it's now tuesday morning um tom is asleep i expect to be asleep for a while we didn't get to bed until like 11 last night um so i'm going to restart sorrowland and i've got some coffee and i've got some toast and honey um on the way so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today and i'm not feeling as like blah as I was yesterday, I think it's just that work had been really busy and my necklace is wrong, sorry. Um, and I had to go straight from a week of work into studying each morning. Um, but I've done all the things I like have to do. I've got some stuff I need to do tomorrow just in terms of like downloading exam templates and stuff and making sure everything's set up for the next day. Um, but in terms of exam prep, like past papers, questions, I'm now finished. So I've got two days to kind of let my brain relax before the ex actual exam day. So Sorrowland is on the cards. So I've been sitting here and reading Sorrowland for a little while. I'm most of the way through now. I am, let's have a quick peek. Oh, I reckon I'm probably 250 pages, 260 pages in. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I don't know whether I spoke to you too much about what it's about. It's about a woman who left a cult-like commune um, called Caneland. Um, and is living in the woods with her two babies um, and yeah I, it's kind of going twisty turny weird magical elements um, there's lots of um, like discussion or like playing with gender um, and some of the pronouns change throughout some of the people that the main character meets don't assign with a specific gender category and the main character doesn't assign with a specific gender category um, and yeah it's it's weird and fantasy-esque and just odd but I'm really enjoying it I'm gonna keep on going now it's half past ten so Tom's here for another hour and a half and then it is another late night so it's just me um yeah I'll let you know how I get on when I finished it so I just finished Sorrowland by River Solomon and it was a really weird book like I don't really know how to describe it other than it's very strange um I feel like I might need a bit of time to solidify my thoughts but I gave it four stars up front I think it's probably one that I will have running through my mind um for a little bit um I've literally just had in the post my next book arrive which is Indelicacy by Anna Kane Amina Kane sorry Amina Kane um and this is a short one 150 seven pages long um but I think I'm going to read some non-fiction now I've read quite a few fiction back to back and I feel like I could do with a little bit of non-fiction I probably won't read but like, the one I've got is quite big I probably won't read all of it in one go but I might start it out um and then maybe read some delicacy later or I might do some knitting and watch a film or something um so yeah I'll see you guys again soon when I start in delicacy um writing the craft one is the only one that hasn't turned up yet um so yeah we're doing pretty good with this challenge and i'll see you guys again in a bit hey guys so it's quite a lot later and i've just vegged out today i watched three films um and did some knitting and i've literally just sat which i think i really needed um i have tomorrow off and then the exam is the next day so this is like i'm trying to chill my brain give it plenty of time and relaxation and not stress it out at all because I'm so stressed my eyes keep twitching. Um, so yeah, breathe. Um, but I am just gonna quickly tidy up the house a little bit. I've just got some like washing up from earlier I haven't sorted yet. 
I've had my shower, so I'm gonna do that. And then I think I'm gonna start in delicacy. Um, so I will see you guys in a few minutes when I've just whizzed around my kitchen and done my hoover. And all sorted. Also, these are new socks. Tom got them for me. Oh, focus on the socks. Tom got them for me yesterday because I was having a bad time, as I said. Um, but this is in delicacy. Um, it is supposed to be like a weirdly modern retelling of a Victorian ghost story. Um, yeah, we will see. It's really short, so I'm hoping I can at least see what I think um, tonight. Though I might only do a little bit because the kind of... Netflix documentary and knitting vibes have been keeping me feeling pretty chill today. So yeah, let's get started, see what I think, and then I might revert back to my earlier plan in half an hour or so. Okay, I've only just started. I'm on page 35 and I can tell this is going to be really flipping good. Um, I want to save it. Every single word is so, like, it's so important and the chapters are tiny. So as much as I'm enjoying it, I feel like I really want to love this book. Like I want to sit there and just eat it up. And my brain is too tired to like do it justice because it's so small. I feel like I'll miss it. Um, so I'm going to stop, not because I'm not enjoying it, but because I am and I want to give it some more headspace. Um, so I'm going to just shove some frozen food dinner <laughs> in the oven um, and just do more of my knitting, I think, and probably see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Um, so I'm going to read in delicacy now. I've just done all my final exam prep, printed out all the little like cheat sheet stuff I need. Um, and now I have to take my mind off it and just enjoy so I'm going to try and just sit down and read in delicacy for a bit I think I might mirror what I did yesterday of like reading until midday and then knitting and films in the afternoon Tom's on an early so he'll be back at three today so it won't be like as long into the evening um but yes I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to restart in delicacy just because as I said yesterday I felt like my brain wasn't quite in the right place to like fully take it all in and I only read 35 pages so I'm just going to start from scratch um, and as I said, it's 150 pages long. So hopefully I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. So I just finished in Delicacy. It's such a weirdly beautiful, tiny story. Um, I really enjoyed that one. That's been one of my favorite ones that I've read and it only took an hour and a half. So if you're looking for a short, good book, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's basically about a woman who works cleaning a museum and kind of thinks about what a higher life might look like and we follow her as she kind of achieves this but it's more about her and her seeking of herself and her meaning of herself and sort of finding out the type of person she is through the experiences she thought she'd wanted would probably be how I'd describe it um yeah, I'm I've literally just finished it, so I think I'm going to have some thoughts, um, probably in my wrap-up to talk over. But yeah, it, it's sunny still, so I'm going to go out in the garden, because it's only half past nine, and clear a bit of the back part of our garden, which has got really overgrown. Um, the last book that I'm expecting for my Pisces reading challenge is yet to arrive, but I think it might arrive today, which would be really good, because then I could finish this vlog whilst I'm on my week off. Um, uh, the other one I'm reading is Between the Light and Storm, which I think I showed you yesterday, um, and I might read a couple chapters of that after I've done some gardening, but I'm going to listen to an audiobook in the garden. I'm not sure which one I'm going to listen to yet. Um, I got sent an arc of an audiobook, which I've never done before, um, so I might start that one, or I've got one I'm halfway through, which is by Rosamond Lupton, um, who wrote Three Hours, which I'm enjoying, so I might go out there, clear some beds, listen to some audio book for a little bit and get a little bit of sunshine um, in my life. It looks like on the weather app and I 
I'm like crossing every finger and every toe um, that it will be, that it's going to be really nice on Sunday, Monday of this week. Um, and I'm just like, please let me sit in the garden with a book um, just for a few minutes to experience some sunshine. Um, but I think I'm going to go out and just make the most of what it is today. It's not quite dry enough to mow the lawn yet, so I'm going to do some fiddling and faffing and clean, clearing up of stuff that's gone pop with all the rain. And I'll see whether or not this afternoon it might be dry enough for me to mow. Fingers crossed. See you in a sec. So I did my final exam today. I've just cleaned the house. I've done the garden yesterday. Everything is sorted. I have a solero um, and I don't know how I'm going to show you this without dropping my solero. Craft in the real world has just shown up um, in my post box. So I'm out in the sunshine ready to finally relax. I've not properly relaxed yet. Um, ready to just completely go, oh, it's all done. Sunshine, there's sunshine. I think the next couple of days are gonna be a bit rubbish, but then Sunday and Monday are gonna be good. So I'm really hoping that they are. But living in the moment in the present, it's nice now. So I'm gonna sit here with my little ice cream and start on crafting the real world. Okay, so I'm going to go inside in a sec, but I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, I spoke about it at the very beginning of this video, but because this is a long one, I'll just remind you that this is about questioning the like white male, um, cisgendered, straight view that creative writing workshops often put through. Um, and it's like lessons on writing and lessons on like decolonialising your writing is probably what I would describe it as. I'm 84 pages in um, and it's very easy to read. Like I would definitely recommend um, if you haven't heard of this one and you're a writer, um, it's only 200, 216 pages long. So it's a pretty short one, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And yeah, I'm gonna go inside. Tom will probably be home in a minute. So I'm gonna just <laughs> gather up my bits and go inside. It's still like really bright. It's just that our garden doesn't get evening sunshine. It gets lots of like morning and midday sunshine. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I woke up super early with Tom this morning at 5am um, and I just couldn't go back to sleep. So it's like, it's still pretty early. It's not even eight yet. Um, but I literally just sat in bed and finished off um, craft in the real world. And I really, really like this one too. Um, there's a lot of like a discussion at the beginning about the way that um, different prejudices feed into the way that we teach writing. But as you go through the book, it becomes more of like a how to guide for like workshops, prompts, etc. Um, and whilst I'm not really writing at the minute, um, I still thought it was really interesting to read about and kind of apply to lots of the things that I read, like appreciating that they're finished projects, but thinking about like just like interesting ways that writing functions. Um, so that is the end of my Pisces reading challenge and I've enjoyed all of the books. So I would say that that is a win. Um, it's some really good fun reading these and it's definitely made me pick up some books that I otherwise hadn't heard of or like wouldn't have th thought that I was that interested in maybe. Um, and yeah, it's just been really good fun. So hopefully it's been fun to watch along. I know it's been a really long video, partly because it wasn't filmed over a week. It was filmed over like multiple weeks. Um, and because I always think in a vlog, it's nice to show like a little bit of what you're up to at the same time. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's been a nice, a nice fun time to do a bit of a longer vlog. And I'll see you guys again soon in my next video. Look after yourselves until then. Bye.